Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How y'all doing this evening? Ooh, boy. Them kids went home, boy. It's quiet again. Lord, thank you, Jesus. You know, I complain, like, for years. Oh, my kids. You know, that they play nan nan and nan nan with, you know, them demons, you know what I'm talking about, you know. Woo! Lord. And he turned around, man, I'm telling you, he give me double. He give me double. Whatever it is that I love, he give me double. You know what I'm saying? You know, I love the kids. I love being able to be here for them to show them, you know, the right way to be. Because, you know, sometimes people don't do certain things that need to be done in order to mold somebody into being the right way. You know, uh, you can't force nothing on them. But if they really favor you, like how these kids favor me, you know what I'm saying? They, they straight up, like, follow my lead. And I just, I love them for that. You know what I'm saying? It's it's an amazing thing. These ain't even my kids. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm, of course, going to try to show them something right to do. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that I can show them. You know, they set up here nice and quiet. You know, they play, they rough boys too, boy. But they sit up here nice and quiet, man, all around me, like like little birds, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, listening to me do this here, you know what I'm saying, reading scriptures. I read some scriptures to them, you know what I'm saying, and tried to explain them to the best of my ability. You know, uh, we all have a different understanding. But as a collective, when we can come into a collective, we get a higher understanding of learning what it is that we're going through through these scriptures because like I said when I read these joints I can see myself in here I can see my life in here from the present to the past and sometimes it be the future I be seeing that I don't be understanding and it's not for my understanding because God knows what he's planning. You know what I'm talking about? This is authentic or nothing. But yeah. Lord, what you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell the people? Give me another good word like you always do. You know what I'm talking about? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lord. Lord. What, what, what you want me to do, Lord? See, it's something that he want me to do. Lord, I pray that you allow me and keep guiding me to what it is that you want me to do, Lord. I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. Woo! Where well, Isaiah 31. Yeah. You no, know, this is kind of a unique way that I get my scriptures to bring out it's not uniformed and I, I believe that he want me to do it this way because of the downloads and different things that he been doing to me you know what I'm saying he been putting different things in me left and right you know what I'm saying like here 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 and this has been going on lately to the point that, you know, I'm like, I can sit with my eyes closed and start seeing stuff. And, you know, I hate to even be saying it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want nobody to think that I'm crazy. But if you get around me, whoo, I'm telling you, ain't no telling what might happen. That's why this is authentic and nothing on the real. Straight up. Man, I was, chill I was chilling in the kitchen Sunday morning. And the Lord started cutting up. And I know it was the Holy Spirit because of 
the situation that I was in and the things that I was thinking about, the things that happened to me the morning before when I woke up and it, it all led up to uh, a physical mani manifestation. And, you know, I used to have a train of thought that says, you know, don't don't believe it until you see it. But I have to let that go because God is so faithful with his promises that I can't sit back and say something that's not going to happen if he wanted to happen. You know what I'm talking about? So... I ain't got no control over that. I ain't got no control over what he do with me neither. I just have to go with the flow. It be so overwhelming and shocker to me sometimes that, you know, you know how you just be chilling, man. You know, I already had a draining time. And then the next thing you know, here goes something. You know what I'm talking about? Like, woo, Lord. You know, she got Isaiah 34. Yes. Like seven and eight, and, and I'm like, you know, I prayed to God a lot to let me be His right hand man. Like five, six, four, five, six. You know, and I hope I ain't bit off more than I could chew. I'm gonna try to perform the best that I can, Lord. Straight up, and You do so much for me. You allow me to do stuff for other people. And just, whoo, says, the heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stampers shall be ready to speak plainly. Whoo, come on with it said the vile person shall be no more called liberal nor the churl said to be bountiful for the vile person will speak vain vainly valiantly <laughs> valiantly there you go something like that and his heart will work in quantities to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord to make empty the soul of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirst to fail. Lord, we're going to run that joint a little bit. This joint going to be a little bit long. I'm talking about Ooh. had to release said the instruments also of the churl are evil he deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor lying with lying words even when the needy speaketh right Ooh. Lord I just I just like I said I just seen this action in my life. I just saw it. And I pray to God that, you know, my action was the right thing to do because all I tried to do was help. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's it. And we got says and the unicorns shall come down with them and the bullocks with the bulls and their land shall be soaked with blood and their dust made fat with fatness unicorns lord says for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompense for the controversy for the controversy of Zion. 
Oh, you're gonna run that a little bit too, cause something happened with some unicorn, and uh, and the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burnt pitch. You know, Lord, cut it up. You know what I'm talking about? He cut it up. It says, it shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever from generations to generation. It shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. You know, we have places on this earth right now still to this day that's inhabitable. And most of it is because of man. And they agreed. It's like, uh, where is that? That Chernobyl joint. You know what I'm talking about? It's inhabitable. You know what I'm saying? It won't be able to support life for many more decades. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just the manipulation of man when the devil get in them. You know what I'm talking about? And, and tell them to do something. It's just overwhelmingly evil to the point that you know this this world has so many things in it that's undiscovered that's, that's untouched and just like I know I had I had a vision of and this was a wide awoke vision I had a vision of like some army dudes hiding something in Colorado that they got from across seas. I can see them doing their work with the backhoe and everything. And I was just sitting there with with my head tilted back so the sun can shine on me. You know what I'm talking about? I, I still can see it right now because I got my eyes closed and I, I'm thinking about it but they were hiding something and I had this vision here come to me like almost two years ago and I never really understood it until I started seeing other things happening like within the last two or three months you know, there's different portals opening up, left and right. There's people here on earth that don't really believe in God. They believe in multiple gods. And that's why they tend to do dark magic and voodoo and curses and all that carrying on. You know what I'm talking about? I don't want to be around nobody like that. Now, I just had an experience with somebody that had been close to me for 20 years that I never would have suspected. And I know it's other people in religion too that does the same thing. You know, they will attack you physically, mentally, and spiritually. You know, they go after lustful things. They try to manipulate situations. I'm telling you, don't let one of them joints be wanting you. I'm telling you, straight up. I I, I like doing things the natural way if it's supposed to be how it's supposed to be. But man, listen here. Lord Jesus. Father, I pray for no type of manipulation, no evil, no spells, no curses, no anything that can abruptly change my course, the course that you have over my life, my purpose, my walk with you, keep me covered because I'm just trying to be right. I'm just trying to do the right thing. And as 
time progresses on, I I know that I am. I just don't dwell on trying to make it be known. I do a lot of things behind the scenes to try to help make this world a better place because he wants a kingdom built here. We don't really even take care of the earth like this. You know, I think he gave me this this issue too. You know, I'm walking down the street or like if I'm walking in somebody, if I come over to your house and I see a piece of paper or something on the floor, I pick that joint up and look for your garbage can. I could be walking down the street. It, it bugs me too sometimes. You know, I'll be walking down the street and ain't no garbage can to put, to, put stuff where it's supposed to go. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I had that stuff flying all in my yard. But that, <laughs> hey, check it. That's why I, I started doing my little recycling business because, you know, we need trees. And the amount of paper that I get is astonishing for one person. If I can find somebody else to get as much as I get, we need to get that deal together and, you know, saying, uh, figure out a plan to get it together. You know what I'm talking about? Because that stuff can be made into some other stuff. You know, I have a. Uh, one company that made me a vendor and I'm trying to see how I can expand from there uh, it's just you know save a tree holla at me you know what I'm talking about straight up you know, I, I, like I said I get it by the time and if this can be made into something else like I see it is you know what I'm saying Maybe that's what I what it all what all I do, you know what I'm saying? Start trying to get some equipment. The same equipment that them them joints got, you know what I'm talking about? My thing is to be having somewhere to put it at, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing like a lot of stuff, different stuff. Um And it's only one me. But God hit me with all these downloads to do. And I'm trying to get it accomplished. Lord help me. <laughs> I'm talking about. Oh man. But this is authentic or nothing. And I holler at y'all in the mouth.